Jim, it's so fantastic to have you here. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about CRM, no code, and BSN Sports. Great. Look forward to it. Tell us a little bit more about your company. You guys are an absolute leader in your market category. To what do you attribute the success? Always a tribute to our people. We have fantastic people in the field and here at headquarters supporting our folks in the field. Uh, people who really care about our mission, what we do for our customers, and what we do to elevate a student experience. So, so creation has been a big part of what we've done the last five years. Help me to understand how big is your sales team now? We have 1,300 salespeople in the field, uh, about 150 managers. There's 100 people on our inside sales team here in this building, and we have about 400 support people uh, kind of around the country supporting everybody in the field as well. As a go-to-market leader, what kind of role do you see for technology in your overall sales picture? Yeah, our digital enablement has been huge for us in really every part of the business. Creatio has helped us drive a lot of efficiency into the field, getting our process into the field. We've been able to move our sales book size in the last five years about 50 to 60 percent larger per sales pro, and we expect that to continue as we drive more digital enhancements and more enhancements for Creatio in the, in, in the future. How we go nimble and quick is we don't need IT involvement with Creatio. We did when we built it and we did when we launched. And again, because we had to connect our ERP, it was a one and done exercise. But now because we've done that, all the ideas we have going throughout the year, we do not need IT. What we're able to do here is we support 2000 salespeople and support people with three Creatio admin. Tell us, how do you manage user adoption? How do you manage it in a way that salespeople see value in the ever since you deliver from a technology point of view? Yeah. With Creatio, we've been able to take this team on a journey and continue to adjust our process and the digital platform which by which we're driving that process over time. So our field people are actually seeing the, the real value because they're understanding exactly how they're going to go meet their goals. And as sales leaders, we, we worry about our number, we stress about the number. Salespeople worry about the number every month. Mm -hmm. And I'm always preaching to my people, stop worrying about the number, because the number's never gonna change unless you drive your activity and what's happening in your pipeline. Again, what we've done with process through Creatio mm -hmm. has made that very clear, all of our salespeople, how they're gonna win each month, how they're gonna win each year, and that's really helped us get adoption quickly. We are a carrot, not a stick shop, right? We don't want to beat someone into submission saying, you have to use this new tool that we've invested in. So what we want to do instead is we want to give them something that they want to drift to. So the, what we did as a philosophy with Creatio is we put a bunch of stuff in there that actually helps make the day in the life of a salesperson easier. So a lot of people laugh when we say like, our adoption is 100%. Again, it's not because we beat them into this place saying like, you have to use this thing. In order to do the day job, you have to use Creatio. You have field management, you have uh, inside sales, you have online sales. So how do you align those teams and how do you manage those diverse processes? Sure. We, uh, we segment uh, all of our customers by addressable opportunity and their needs. And then we have specific sales teams that are assigned to each one of those segments. Creatio and what we've done in our CRM has made that very clear as to who's doing what, what our goals are, and how we're performing against those goals. And everything's dashboarded very cleanly. So Creatio is an everyday tool and every hour tool for us with all of those teams. Okay. You have wide experience with different technologies out there. So how would you compare Creatio's modern no-code approach to some traditional heavyweight yeah. uh, enterprise job? Well, like as I told you, we've been on this journey with our sales team and, and getting them aligned on sales process and goals and to become a more performance-based culture. If I would have been with one of your larger competitors, as I wanted to change and adjust, that would be an 18-month project, $7 million. Right now, if we need to change and adjust something, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes uh, and we're off and moving. We would not have been able to go on this journey and be as successful and as fast as we have been without Creatio. About four or five weeks ago, we came up with this great idea where we said we would love our salespeople to forecast down to the customer and product level. We had the idea and then we said, huh, is that something that Creatio can help us with? Quickly found out, oh, there's out of the box like forecasting inside of Creatio. So we went from like a hunch in an idea like four or five weeks ago to we already have have like something stood up in development right now. It's not pushed live, but in development five weeks later, which I find fascinating. In other places in my sales ops career, you have an idea for something that you want to do and it needs uh, it needs to be spec'd and it needs an agile team and it needs to go into a sprint and maybe eight or nine weeks later, you can actually
actually start working on something, we're five weeks later and we already have this thing like 85% built. I know that you are a growing business, your needs are evolving, so how do you see evolution of your sales automation technology? Digital enhancements will continue to play a huge role in our future, uh, both on the front end sales and, and back end support. It's happening now. Uh, and as we want to drive into other segments, uh, we expect to attack digitally uh, on a continual basis. So we expect that the, the digital tools we have now will help us continue to drive the efficiencies we've seen in the sales field far into the future. And what's your take on AI? Sure. A I mean, AI is going to help us be more efficient, right? It's going to help us make better decisions both on the front end and, and on the back end. It's going to help us uh, honestly be able to reduce our need for hiring and again, make our salespeople much more efficient. Jim, it's been a privilege. Yeah, Thank you, you so bet. Much. Thanks so much, man.